Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Expresso here on SABC3. Now, it's a Monday, so we're talking mm -hmm. all things relationships as we explore setting relationship goals as a couple. And today we're asking, how do you and your partner set goals for your relationship? We're back with clinical psychologist Asha Dulab to unpack this topic. So please do weigh in with your questions and comments on our Facebook page. We would love to actually engage with them on right here, live on the show. And one of the, the first points that Asha made was rather than having goals, because it is unpredictable and it's difficult to kind of set mm. goals when the goal posts are moving so often, was to mm. take the intention approach. And Sibes Journal weighed in online saying, I'm practicing the intention approach this mm. year with two full stops. <laughs> yeah, it's, I am doing that. That's what I'm doing. I absolutely love that. Um, just to recap, why is it so important to have that in the back of your mind as opposed to having a list of goals, mm. but rather have the intentions behind what you're wanting to mm. achieve? Yeah, it actually leads us to our goals. The power okay. of intention, the energy of our intentions, what happens is we have the intention and then we have to give attention to our intentions. <laughs> which then leads us to ultimately achieving our goals. But sometimes if we are too goal-directed, we can actually find ourselves distracted too much on the goal and therefore lose ourselves in the process and even lose the connection with our partner. So be more process-orientated. Mm. Um, and yeah, the, that energy of intention is, is a beautiful way to connect. And journaling is a good way of doing it. Um, there's um, something called morning pages where people wake up in the morning and mm. just take out a book and write out what what their thoughts are for the day without any um, um, too much uh, without too much thought into mm. it just very spontaneous and free no editing and just leaving it there um, and it's surprising once you go back to it a I was few gonna weeks, say yeah you'll be surprised as what you manifesting uh, Paulina Williams uh, weighed in on Facebook saying we set goals by writing them down and see what is achievable within a specific time frame then we work towards making them a reality and we are as happy as ever the Williamses okay. are as happy as ever that idea of it being actually achievable mm -hmm. to, to take the time to consider that this is something that we can do we all want to be millionaires we all want to yes. have you know these amazing kind of milestones but you want to make sure that you can actually set achievable goals yeah, I think what we can do is look at the SMART approach to goal mm. setting. So SMART being be specific, mm. uh, the, the M being, being let the goal be measurable, the A achievable, is it achievable? Uh, the R relevant, is it relevant? And let's look at time. Mm. Are we, are we you know, allocating enough time to achieve these goals? So using the SMART um, idea is a good way of, of, of looking at whether it is achievable, but it must really go back to being the specificness of the goal. Mm. Is your goal abundantly clear enough? Because sometimes we can get stuck in that process and then we have to go right back to the specificness of the goal. Mm. Be intentional be with intentional every single of it, but be detail. Very abundantly clear of what exactly mm. is it that you want. Is it to spend more time with your partner? Is it to have more date nights? Um, is it to ha have more time connecting with family, with friends? And then what how do you go about mm. that? How do you go yeah. about doing that? Okay. I mean, we're entering the new year now. How important mm. is it to use this fresh energy of the brand new year to set your goals and go out there and be intentional with your actions? The new year comes with new enthusiasm, new, in new energy, invigorating energy, rejuvenating energy. So let's look at it as if we have a book with 365 new pages, mm. 12 new chapters. And let's be the hero to our story. Mm. Let's rewrite the story with a sense of hope and positivity. Mm. Thank you so much. You brought some of that positive energy right here. Hopefully you guys have taken something home from this. As a couple, um, have a chat. Just start with a conversation. And I think being mindful and conscious about where you are focusing your energy, your attention to grow as a couple. Um, and as individuals as well, don't lose that individual identity. It's um, a great step on our continuous journey of being a healthy and happy couple and individual, I'll add to it. And if you'd like to get professional, help um, about this or any top topic that we ever cover on a Monday. Um, if you're facing any difficulties, then you can reach out to Asha directly. You can email her on info at ashadulab.com. Um, well, we're going to have a little sing. I think I feel the energy of 2021 and we're going to invite Asha to join us. Oh, you don't have a choice, girl. You don't have a choice. <laughs>